Morning, peeps. I'm here with a reading. This one is one that I saw on Facebook. Now, lately, Facebook feels like it's just a bunch of ads and I've been kind of disillusioned with it and not really wanting to be on there, but this popped up. Does not have an author. I don't know who wrote it, so I can't tell you that, but I thought it was very good, so I thought I was gonna share it with you, okay? Especially since I love Dollar Tree. It says, I was in Dollar Tree last night and there was a lady and two kids behind me in the long line. One was a big kid and the other one was a toddler. The bigger one had a pack of glow sticks and the toddler was screaming for them. The mom opened the pack and gave him one which stopped his tears. He walked around with it smiling, but then the bigger boy took it and the toddler started screaming again. Just as the mom was about to fuss, the older child bent the stick, glow stick and handed it back to the toddler. As we walked outside at the same time, the toddler noticed that the stick was now glowing and his brother said, I had to break it so that you could get the full effect from it. I almost ran because I could hear God saying to me, I had to break you to show you why I created you. You had to go through it so you could fulfill your purpose. That precious child was happy just swinging that unbroken glow stick around in the air because he didn't understand that it was what it was created to do, which was glow. There are some people who will be content with just being, but some of us are chosen. We have to be broken. We have to get sick. We have to lose jobs. We have to go through divorce. We have to bury our spouse, parents, best friend, or our child. In those moments of desperation, we were broken. But when the breaking is done, then we will be able to see the reason for which we were created. So when you see us glowing, just know that we have been broken. The text for today is Zechariah 13, 9, and it says, I will bring the one third through the fire, will refine them as silver and refined, and test them as gold is tested. They will call my name and I will answer them. I will say, this is my people. And each one will say, the Lord is my God. I was reading um, our, the lesson I'm reading is about the crucible and what we need to go through. And this was so poignant with it. It talked about how the um, jeweler is refining his gold and they asked him, you know, how do you know when it's done? And it says when he can see his reflection in the gold. And that's the way Christ is. When he can see our reflection, he knows we're ready. So I'm striving towards that. I want God to be reflected through me. I want Jesus to be reflected through me. I've got a long ways to go, but I'm working towards it. And I just wanted you all to know that you may be broken, but that just means you're better. I hope this finds you absolutely flamazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.